In this segment, we're going to be talking about entering the brucellosis vaccination records. If you go to your vet CVI dashboard, you see in a whole array of options down here at the bottom. Your last five are all kind of in a same grouping, even though your TB test is different than your brucellosis vaccination. Your TB and OCV drafts are listed together. Your statuses are listed together as well as your history. So we're going to go ahead and select brucellosis vaccination area. Area information will automatically pre-populate. Animal location information, again, just as in vet CVI. All those areas that have a red asterisk are required fields. Page three is going to take you to the brucellosis related information. Uh, your vaccination manufacturer and strain is always going to default to RB51, and it does not give you an opportunity to change that. Dosage is going to be reduced. Your vaccination date is required, as well as your certification for payment. 99.999% of the time, it's going to be private at the owner's expense. You will need to choose the species that we're dealing with. Today, I'm gonna to choose beef. And you're always going to choose calfhood vaccination. And then you can hit next. The only thing you're ever gonna do on page four is select button. Once you push add, it will take you to the animal information and ID section. Uh, the nice thing about brucellosis vaccinations is that most of the time these animals are given a, an official ID uh, at the same time that they are brucellosis vaccinated. So many of the times these numbers in the animal's ears are going to be in, in succession in order. So I'm going to show you in this on this screen how to list those animals uh, using the range functionality. We've talked a lot about using it being able to upload a spreadsheet. You can do that in this section. That is not a problem, but um, I'm gonna show you how to use the range functionality today. These are just going to be Angus heifers. You don't have to give an entry reason, but, uh, and you don't have to select purebred or grade, but I'm going to select purebred that way I know for my records, the breeder will also know for his records that these cattle were, were listed as purebred. So like I said before, we're gonna go ahead and, and use the range functionality. I'm gonna go ahead and change my ID type. You can use your AIN, which are your 840 tags. Most of the time we're still using the, the silver bright tags, even though we're trying to, to gear away from those a little, but those would be considered a noose nine tag. So again, I'm gonna use my range functionality. My starting ID is going to be 48 ABC, one, two, three, four. Again, I entered 10 head up here, but I could actually enter as many as 100 head. And uh, it's going to document everything I have in succession. Once you get that starting ID entered, you're going to hit save. And that's going to populate your animals for you in successive tag order. Now, there may be a, a time when you vaccinated 60 head, but say you're missing a tag or two. You can still go ahead and use the range functionality. And then once it populates the animals for you, the tag maybe that got kinked or, or broken or was not present, you can go ahead and delete that particular animal and that particular tag. Another thing, if you have two age groups of heifers that you are brucellosis vaccinating, you can go ahead and add this first group. You can go back in then and edit the draft, add your second group with your different ages, or if you just have a couple heifers that are different ages, you can just edit the ones that you need to. If this one was only five months of age, you can go ahead and change your month in age to five, hit save. And again, 
that's going to show up in your ID section. If you go to next, it's automatically going to highlight in red the information that's missing. Again, just as in the CVI section and the TB section, you can use your three little dots. You can go to the section where your information is missing, complete that, and go from there. And just as in the, the um, TB and VET CVI sections, you're going to have to certify everything on that last page, but you will not be able to get to the certification statement until you've figured out everything and filled out everything that is required. I'm going to go back to my dashboard for just a minute. You're going to, this is going to show up in your TB drafts. You can look at the status uh, of the TB OCV records that you've done. You can also search your TB and OCV history.